All right, it's fresh, it's early. First appointment, day one, 10 a.m. Josh at Foka, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm good. Good, thanks for coming. I know, it's great. I suppose bright and early, 10 a.m., it's not really bright ah, I mean, I'm, I'm on early. central time, so it's noon for me. I'm good. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I got kids, so I'm up at six anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is normal. normal. All right, Josh, what do you have that's new and nutritious? Yeah, so uh, Focal, we've been we've been making speakers since 2002 in our in the Pro line, right? And our staple's always been our previous uh, Solo Six and Twin Six. They've been around for 15, 16 years, yeah. um, and we're excited to announce uh, updates, if you will. Even though they're complete ground-up redesigns of our our Solo and Six Solo Six and Twin Six series, okay. in addition to a really big new sub uh, called Sub 12. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're complete ground-up redesigns. Everything from the driver to the amplifier, tweeters, everything's completely different. But we still want to give them that familiar look and kind of feel, but with a little bit more of a modern touch. Great, great. So, what model is this again? That's the Twin Six, yeah. And that's got the Beryllium. Yeah, so, nice. correct, correct. So all, all of the ST6. Did they have Brilliant before? We had Brilliant before, okay. but the chamber behind, so we, we have a thing called Infinite Acoustic Load, which is a, a chamber that we designed behind the tweeter um, that reduces the resonance of the tweeter all the way down to the 400 hertz range. So previously, pretty much a vast majority of tweeters out there use a closed back magnet, so that, so that voice coil sits inside of a milled magnet, right? So we have, in order to, to mitigate that and give us a more even, more dynamic, lower distortion response, we said, let's build this chamber so it's kind of a conical-shaped tune chamber behind the tweeter that just gives us a more neutral, flat, uh, dynamic response, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. We added this waveguide on the front as well that gives us a little bit more time alignment with the voice coil of the, the low-mid driver, um, and also it just helps us broaden and smooth out our horizontal dispersion. We still make analog speakers, we don't use DSP. We found that, man, we can really make a, a pure improvement on what we've done, you know, and just make it a little bit better. But we still want to stay true to the kind of the, the What's sound. What's the power on this up? Uh, 600 watts RMS, 1,000 watts peak. It'll do 125 dB SPL at one meter. So we haven't found a need to turn it up even more than half in, in, in most cases. It's quite hefty. Uh, there's two handles on each side, so you can have you and your friend carry it around. Um, and we have this huge 13-inch uh, uh, driver that's really, really uh, goes down to 26 hertz within plus or minus 3 dB. Lovely. Um, so it gets down there. This is our most popular speaker we've made for the past 15 years. Has all the same tweeter technology that the twin does. Has the new W sandwich cone. Uh, but on the back, we've added a few more things. Uh, probably most notably, the ability to, to mount for Dolby Atmos solutions. So uh, you can use mounts from KNM. Triad Orbit makes a plate for us now. Uh, ISO Acoustics has a mounting system that's coming. Um, any of those can adapt to this easily. So you can hang it from the ceiling. This Dolby Atmos 2360, whatever the case is. Uh, it's ready to go. Um, and then we also have this unique thing called focus mode in these now. So if you're familiar with our Trio 6 and Trio 11, yep. previously they had a focus mode that went from a three-way to a two-way yeah, um, sort of setup. Well. So we've designed this new W Sandwich Cone driver to go all the way up to 10K. So the voice coil is 20% longer, um, so we get more dynamic range and we can go all the way up to 10K. So we shut the tweeter off now entirely uh, and okay. go from a, a true two-way solution to so a- So like an Orr's heart. So sort of like a, I'm calling it a sound cube. Sort, yeah, of, okay, yeah. sort of, sort of solution, yeah. uh, TM, <laughs> yeah. Tra trademark pending, but yeah. but yeah, it, kind of a, a more yeah. hi-fi, one-way experience that, that'll help translate life for you a little bit outside of the, right. Great. You know, outside of the, the studio, gives you a, a bit more of a, a real-world reference. So we're gonna do a giveaway with the Listen Pros. These are lovely. Two things with giveaways, because we, we never ask for any shipping, so, if somebody contacts you and says that you have won a prize and you have to pay for shipping, that's not true. We always pay your shipping. Marvellous. This is wonderful. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, no problem. Harry, how are you? I am very well, thank you. You good? I am good. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah? good. When did you guys get here? Uh, Wednesday. So we've had a nice day of sort of getting things ready and now putting, all the booth together putting the booth together, and... testing out the console. Yeah, nice. Yeah, we'll look at that quickly in a second. So obviously anybody that's been watching the channel knows we have extensively demoed the Evo 16 and the ID44. Indeed. We can take a little walk over there. Yep. Walk this way. -na 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 -na. This is pretty awesome. It now, is. what I wanted to do, I was just talking to Andy about it off camera. Just to, can you give us a brief, because everybody's saying, obviously this is freaking awesome. The Evo 16, I think will sell like 
hotcakes, yep. five hundred dollars. So. <laughs> you know, it, it's going to be great for drummers, anybody that just wants to quickly get sounds up. Absolutely superb, and it sounds great. One of our, I think, one of our best demos we've ever done using this. So really happy. It sounded wicked, yeah. But people are asking the obvious questions: What's the differences? Because yeah. obviously the mic freeze in this have to be digitally controlled. Yes, exactly. So did that mean you had to redesign the mic freeze? Yeah. So the obviously the ID44 mic freeze, as with all the other ones, are all like the console heritage, the yeah. console mic freeze. They come from 20 years ago. With these, they're pretty much a complete redesign. Um, so we could make it digitally accessible and stuff. Yeah. So we tried to keep it um, sort of uh, in keeping with audience. So they're still very transparent. They're still very clean and everything like that. But obviously, just they have inherent differences and will technically sound a bit different. But in essence, it should you know be pretty much like an audience mic free. Right. Yeah. I, honestly, I really like the sound of this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It sounds really good. And it works really nicely as well. It works really nicely. It's totally idiot proof. Yeah. And frankly, it looks really cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? It looks like something I just put in my laptop yeah, yeah, bag, yeah. you know what I mean? And just take with me. Yeah. We've had a lot a lot of uh, a lot of people just having their minds blown by just exactly what it can do and then asking them how much they think it costs. And, yeah, uh, I would say <laughs> Probably, it, it seems like a $1,200 yeah, unit. Yeah, that's what people are saying. Yeah, about $1,200 yeah. bucks for an A input unit like this. Yeah, and it's yeah. 500 bucks. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, that's crazy. Congrats. Obviously, the ID44, um, Eric and I, who's behind the other side of the camera, use an ID44 every single day. All our demos, everything we do is how yeah. we listen. So, um, great improvements. Simple. I haven't actually got into using the function keys. Oh, yeah. I'm so dumb, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, but the function keys can be assigned to do what? Yeah, so that's, uh, that will be your like polarity, so you're the polarity and mono if you're wanting to listen to the edges of your mixes. Yeah. Um, mono, all speaker, yeah. um, and obviously you've got the dedicated talk back dim and cut, so yeah. yeah. Great. Fantastic. Um, Evo 4, but let's go over to the Evo 8 because yeah. we're going to do a giveaway with the Evo 8. We're already, by the way, anybody, because this is going to be coming out while the giveaway is still going, there is a giveaway for the ID44 and Evo 16, so you can check that out. Link below, I'm sure. So, Evo 8. Yep. Solid piece of kit, still. Yep. So, we're going to do a giveaway on this. Link below, please check it out. Um, Thank you. Yeah, thank that you was very easy. Much. That was easy. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> nice to see you. So check out all the giveaways. If you haven't already, watch the reviews on the ID44 and the Evo 16, and enter to win an Evo 8. So we're at Oranex with Dave West. How are you? I'm good. How are you, sir? I'm really good. Yeah, good. Um, I, this is very exciting. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, but we actually have got one of these. It's, in, it's sitting in a box. <laughs> and it's going to go up in the studio. Yeah. So. That's, a, that's an endorsement. So tell us a little bit about it. Right, so um, originally we were looking at solutions for uh, sm smaller studios, project studios, or anywhere where there was a bit of an issue with uh, treatment. Yep. So it's not designed as soundproofing, it's designed as, as a treatment. Uh, yep. And specifically, we were getting a lot of requests from vocalists, voiceover artists, podcast, uh, podcasters, all saying the same thing, which is, Listen, I'd like a great sound, but I want to do it in my kitchen. I want to be able to do it in the living room. You know I'm going to walk in there. Yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, so what we tried to do was to find a solution where it was uh, portable, it could be collapsed uh, yeah. and could be put away once you finished working, but also sound great. So we tried lots of different versions of it, smaller. We wanted it to be smaller, ideally. Yeah. But ultimately, this gave us the best uh, uh, acoustic results. Cool. So, um, and in fact, this gives, I mean, actually, reflection-wise, it's 0 0.07 dB, which is the same as most booths, you know, yeah. proper booths uh, for reflection time. But, um, uh, yeah, so this is, we ended up with cylindrical shape yeah. because it just eliminates a lot of the standing waves. So you yeah. won't get those horrible mids and lows come back into the mic. Uh, yeah. And it just works beautifully. Has a nice roof there, and you'll see we've got a slot there that allows you to pass a condenser in. Uh, okay. So that then means you don't have to have <laughs> you don't have to have a stand inside okay, or anything good. attached to the frame, which obviously can transfer vibrations I, and I stuff. I love this. Uh, I'll let you take one separately if you want, Warren. Uh, you I, I, I do love this. 
Yeah, well, this is really we have, good. We have some other bits coming along for uh, iPads as well and uh, uh, no, I mean, attachments. It, well. it might sound really obvious and try to say, but this is really nice. I mean, just like, yeah, yeah. we're always like, <laughs> Eric knows he's on the camera. We're, we're always like getting a like a separate thing that we have to tape yep. to the side of the mic stand. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. uh, can be hard work. Yeah. The nice thing as well also is that the legs retract into the frame, nice. which means, number one, you can have any height you want. So this will go yeah. up to, to uh, 2.210 uh, centimeters. Obviously, you're a, a lot bit taller, taller, lot taller than me. Yeah, tall, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably bring it up like an extra yeah, couple of, of course, yeah, a couple of inches for the Americans. Um, yeah, uh, and that works really well. But it also means it goes right down to the, uh, the floor as well. So it's right. great for a little bit of isolation for cabs. And uh, I know oh, you yeah, can't see this on yeah. camera, but so yeah, so yeah. you can uh, collapse it down and put cabs in it and all sorts of different. Oh, cool that's things. a good idea. So that works really, really well. Um, yeah, yeah. The lid comes off as well, so that goes off and ends up in a, 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 a bag, folded down, and you can just put it into the, the, the garage or, or to the side of the room or wherever. But there How you go. much is it? Uh, in the US, yeah. I believe it's 1999 right. now. So uh, right. Europe and UK is slightly right. less, unfortunately, yeah. but yeah, uh, 1999. Right, and the most amazing thing, it's going to let us give one of these away. Oh. That's pretty I am. awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Amazing. My pleasure. Yeah. Uh, we will ship anywhere in the world. Yeah. It might take a bit of time because of how everything is yeah. with COVID at the moment, but we'll, we'll get one to you. Yeah. And you won't be charged for it. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. I really well, appreciate it. It's good to see you. Thank you Always very much. Great. Yeah. Always great to, to see you. See you. Yep. And uh, even though the other times we've seen each other have been virtually. Yeah, on, absolutely. On, and we've gone on a bit about different producers and experiences. Really, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can do that as well. Yeah, yeah. That's always good. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Thank Enter to win, there'll be a link down below, and um, we're always GDPR compliant, so you can opt into the email list, and you can do whatever you like. God bless you. Thank I can also, you. you can go and see, see it in much more detail at imperativeaudio.com as well. Yeah, there'll yeah. be a link as well, and you can check that out. So we're at Zillia's booth with Tomash. How are you? Uh, nice to meet you. Where, is it, where are you based here in Poznan, yeah? So we are based in Poznan, yeah, so it's... Uh, Fantastic. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. So we provide the tools for per people that create uh, 360 free audio for uh, games, metaverse, yeah. and also that uh, for in general 360 audio and video. I, so, I, did, I did see the headsets over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So headset is like a projection tool, yeah. but uh, our customers use these 360 microphones, Ambisonics microphones, yeah. to capture 360 sound. And then uh, this act like a 360 camera, but for audio. So what, once you record with this microphone, yeah. uh, you can fully immersed in the audio on the, on the selective uh, spot. But yeah. if you have recordings from multiple of those microphones, yeah. then you also can fully navigate in the space. I know, it's amazing. Yeah, and this is, this is one of the, of, of the recordings that you can also experience on the Oculus, that yeah. you can uh, wear the VR goggles, and let's say you are on the place where there is, I don't know, uh, your favorite musician, and you yeah. can not only listen to the concert, but you can also walk around the, full, uh, the whole space yeah. And uh, listen to the to the to the concept from different perspectives. Yeah? Nice. So that so that's that's the idea. Yeah? Fantastic. Yeah. Very very cool. Yeah. It's very cool. Wow. It's weird. Be <laughs> the best I think experience is when you go by the drama. Uh -huh. You hear the piano. You start hearing all the room and all of that. Yeah. It's yeah. nice because you can you know change yeah. you listen to also to the whole acoustic of the yeah. space. Yeah. yeah exactly. That's, yeah. that's really nice. Because starting off next to the piano, you're like, oh, the piano's there, and you turn and. That's fantastic. But yeah, once I went over to the drummer, then suddenly I heard the piano in the space. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Great. How much is it? Uh, so we sell it for uh, 1300 OK. Uh, that's good. So, so that's, that's the price for the microphone. Uh, yeah. With this, we also comes to the software. Yeah. So if you are a sound engineer for uh, movies or games, then you can also edit the 3D sound and combine it with any DLW. Or, uh, or Unreal Engine or whatever uh, software that you're using. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Very, very cool. So what's, what's this hardware here? What's this, this, is, this is a recorder because right now on the market uh, you are not able to find, let's say, this mic has 19 embedded capsules. 19 capsules. 19. So okay. this 19 channels and, and you have just one, uh, one cable that you connect to this. Wow. And uh, so, you know, uh, so this is also the whole interface that you yeah. can just connect with single USB, USB cable. Wow. Instead, you know, of huge rack of cables and right, so on. Right. Yeah. So, so this is also our recorder because uh, people that record uh, do the yeah. field recording. They also ask us to to 
develop something like that. And the software would work on a, on a phone? What is, what is the connection? It's USB. USB? Oh, well. Great. Very, very cool. So, Thomas has very kindly agreed to give away one of these, which is That's rather right. wonderful. That's right. Thank you ever so much. I really thanks, appreciate it. Thanks, thanks so much. It's the ZM1, or as they like to say in America, the ZM1. So, with Martins at SolarWorks. So great to be back uh, live. Out yeah, of like in meetings a real place. And meeting real people. Human beings. Right? <laughs> You got a new product? Yes. Tell us about your new product. We've uh, expanded the SonarWorks reference product line to now also enable calibration of multi-channel speakers up to 916. So you can calibrate your 5-1 system, your 7-1 system, or your Atmos room. And you can do it by yourself, hopefully within less than an hour. I actually saw it in action. We went to Aaron Mattis' studio yes. and did it there a couple, three or four weeks ago. Yes. Yeah. That was pretty cool. It was very cool. And a huge difference. So, um, there it is. I suppose the thing is, when you're talking about software, it's like, <laughs> there it is. No, it's here. <laughs> there it is. There's a box. <laughs> yes. There's a box. <laughs> and it's a microphone. Awesome. And a microphone. It's a box and it's a microphone. Excellent. Yeah. Great. How much is it? It's uh, $549, 549 with a microphone. With a microphone. Yes. And we're going to do a giveaway. Yes. Isn't that exciting? That is exciting. <laughs> and we will ship it anywhere in the world and we will not charge you any shipping fees. I would actually say that for multi channel rooms, it's like it's important to calibrate your stereo speakers and headphones so that you're getting neutral sound out of them. Yep. But it's actually even more important to do it for the multi channel room because now you have these like up to 16 speakers shooting at you. The frequency response is different coming from every speaker. So as you pan the object around the room, the sound changes just because of where you place it, which can't be good for a good mix. Yeah, and then also absolutely. setting the delays right between the channels so that the sound arrives exactly at the same moment and it aligns with the LFE channel is also super important because if it doesn't, then coming from 16 speakers, your sound stage is just gonna yeah. be a mess. And yeah. our software solves that in a really uh, neat manner and uh, gets it super accurate every time. And Excellent. you can set this room to flat sound or you can set it to sound like Dolby Atmos Music Curve, which is what Dolby wants you your room to sound like if you're working for the Atmos mixes. So uh, it's all figured out, and uh, yeah, we've really worked a lot to have it easy for the user to use and operate it. So right. you don't have to have like a lot of experience in doing this. The software will just guide you through, and hopefully, people like it. Fantastic. Well, wonderful. Don't right. forget to enter down below. And I've heard it in action, and it sounds fantastic. It was a huge improvement on Aaron's room, and he was very happy. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Nice. And Aaron's a great guy and a great mixer. Thank you very much. Thank you. Roger from Cloud, how are you? Great, Warren. How are you doing? It's great I'm to good. see you. Good to see you. We, I yeah. did, it was about four years ago, last time we came around to the booth and talked yeah, to you. Yeah, sounds like 10, doesn't it? I know, yeah. <laughs> we took two years off. Yeah, right. So what have you got that's new you want to tell us about? So, we're actually showing for the first time the, the new Cloud Passive 44 with the midnight finish. It's gorgeous. Which is a... A work of art. Yeah, and, it, and it's, it's very similar to the 44A, except the 44A yeah. has the Cloud Lifter built right inside. Nice. So with the 44 Passive, we have this new uh, midnight finish, which is actually a really cool finish. I, I like what the finish does, because it, it's it's like a ceramic type finish. Okay. So it has a very, um, it's, it sort of dampens the resonant frequency of the steel in All a right, certain way. Alright, because I know some ribbons, they, they put really, really bright metal on there to try and increase the high end. Right, no, we don't do that. There was a little trick that the RCA engineers learned back then, because they originally, they had these metal mesh grills that went right in front of the ribbon yeah, to yeah. sort of block some of the plosives. And the RCA engineers discovered in the also, 40s and 50s that if you took that out and got rid of that and then use a, like a, a fabric or a silk over the ribbon yeah. instead to protect it from particles, that the whole microphone just opened up. So wow. this microphone is based on the original RCA 44A microphone with the inside mod that these uh, RCA engineers sort of figured out. I, I, I want to try one. I got to get one. Absolutely. Yeah, we got to take care of that. Um, Beautiful. So yeah, the angle of the screen, there's a reason, I mean, aside from it looking cool, right, with the angles, yeah. but there's actually a reason for the angle. If you measure this angle, it's the same angles that the original 44 microphones had, where it sort of like breaks up the plosives. And yeah. gives you, you know, you can almost use it without a pop filter for a lot nice. of things, because it just has a natural 
ability to sort of diffuse some of the, the plosives and pressure of the sound waves. I'm going to try it out. Yeah, check it out. One, two, two, two. Oh, yeah. Obviously, nobody else can hear it, but one, two, 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 two. What have you got this going into? Uh, we're, right now, we're going into an A Designs um, yeah. uh, preamp, the, Mon the Peter Montesi. Yeah. No compression? <laughs> no compression, just straight preamp. Great. Uh, and and it does go, it's also going through a cloud lifter. Nice. And yeah, the, it's very, uh, it's very mid forward in a good way. Nice. Yeah, one, two, 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 one. Now yeah, you're right about the plosives. Very minor. I mean, I can hear them a tiny compared with what it should be. One, two, two, two. So I the, like it. It's very like for, It's very forward. Very, yeah. Really enhanced in the mids. A lot of detail there in the yeah. mids. Yeah. But not the harsh three to five k. Like feels really full. I like it. Yeah. Nice. Well, you know, so we have the 44A, it's been around for a little while. The 44A yeah. has the cloud lifter built right in and the voice music switch. So what you can actually do? roll off the plosives by sort of giving a nice uh, filter to the to the high pass, or you can have it in full frequency one, music two, mode. Two, one, 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 one. Oh yeah, yeah, it's huge. So that's obviously off and that's on. Right, exactly. Yeah, the difference is massive. One, two, two, pop, 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 oh yeah. And so this microphone has the cloud lifter built right in, yeah. where this one actually comes with a cloud lifter that's external. Okay. And we can get a little B-roll of that in just a second. But What do you prefer? I, well, I use the passives a lot, only because I have a lot of the old RCA preamps right. that don't have phantom power. Two preamps that didn't have phantom, it really performs very well. But I like having the cloud lifter next, outside of it so that I can use it with other mics as well. And that's the benefit. So you can use this one. You, it comes with the uh, special Midnight Edition Cloud Lifter, which you can use to help your 57s and your So you buy the mic with the Cloud Lifter? It comes with it in one package. How much is it? So it's $14.99. Both yeah. mics are the same price. Yeah. This one has the Cloud Lifter built in with the voice music switch, yeah. and this one has the Cloud Lifter external. So you can use it either way. Fantastic. And um, yeah, we're really excited about it. It's, it's um, beautiful. You know, I was developing it it's for a while. Here, I'll just... Right. <laughs> the thing that's nice about it is you can use these to place over drum overheads easily or other other situations inside of a piano where you might not want to have like a 20 pound RCA microphone. See, I like this because this this feels like if, if uh, you know what I'm going to say, if a Coles and an RCA had a baby, this is what it would look like. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, I'm sure you know. It's got that kind of feel of like a classic Coles but with the RCA kind of look. Right. Very nice. Yeah, so we're really excited about it. We use it a lot on drum overheads. I use it on the, the Leslie, the right. 422 with the B3. What is the frequency response on the top end? Do you have a it's, uh, you know, there's a chart around. I don't know where the chart is, but we do have right. a chart online. It has a very gentle roll off. It starts to roll off above about 15K real gently. Oh, it's great. Just a Coles, couple of dB Coles down. Coles is like 12, 13, go Right, right, 12, yeah. 13, go But this yeah. one actually, and that's what I liked about the early RCA microphones, is the 44A, uh, by the RCA version uh, from the third, from the mid-30s with that mod that the engineers did was really nice and extended. Had a really nice. open feel all the way out. And that's really what I loved. And that's what I was going for with the cloud mics here is to really capture that full frequency response in a way that you can use this on a vocal and it's a, it provides a great alternative for, yeah. for someone that's not quite right on a, on a certain mic. You can What kinda... I like, the idea, what I'm thinking in my head is like it probably takes EQ really well. Absolutely. Because some of the ones, I do like some of those, those ribbons where they put that kind of mesh on it and it makes it a bit more bright. However, they don't tend to take the EQ so well. Right. You know what I mean? It's like a, like a good 47, you know. Everybody says, well, it's not that bright. It's like, yeah, but put some 10K on it and it right, comes to right, life. Right, right. And so I like that. Right, and these do respond very well to EQ. Yeah. And that's that's kind of what we were going for. We, I set out to design these mics because we wanted to empower people to be able to really capture at home with some basic equipment to be able to capture something that's just absolutely stunning and beautiful, you know? Yeah. And it's hard to do that sometimes with some of the... Some yeah, of the and then you've got guys like me, a lot of us that sort of want to feel like you're using a classic piece of equipment. Right. There's a bit of nostalgia and romance in there as absolutely. well. We know that. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Nothing yeah. wrong with that at all. So better still, we're doing a giveaway of this beautiful mic with the cloud lifter that comes with it. That's freaking awesome. Absolutely. Thank you. Love it. So enter to win one of these beautiful mics with the cloud lifter. Peter, how are you? 
Oh, I'm, I'm doing great. Uh, we're having a great uh, NAM show here, introducing this uh, new MM500 uh, Odyssey headphone uh, in collaboration with the uh, Grammy award-winning uh, mix engineer, Manny Marikeen. Fantastic. Odyssey is, pro and how do you pronounce it? You do uh, Odyssey? We, we say Odyssey, yeah. Okay, you, know, you okay. hear Odds a lot. That's the most common variant, I'd yeah. say, that you hear, yeah. Yeah. The, I will say, probably you're the most common high-end headphones that I see. In the professional scene yeah, these the days, yeah. Yep. It's probably you and you know the other company. We, yeah. We'll talk yeah. about that company <laughs> when we're with them. Yeah, you, you guys uh, definitely dominate. One of my very, very good friends and colleagues is Christian Kohler, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. he only uses your headphones. Yeah, that, that's great yeah. to hear. I mean, you know, the LCDX has been our top selling headphone for quite a while now, and it's, I know it's driven by this, you know, professional environment and people who respect the. Uh, you know the the quality, the the low distortion, and the mm -hmm. the linear response of our planar magne magnetic drivers. Yeah, and to be honest, they're kind of a work of art. What's the one with the uh, with the brown kind of wood finish around the outside? Oh uh, well, we've had a few like that. The LCD two, three, and four all okay. had a wood ring like that. That the LCD two was the headphone that kind of made Odyssey famous back around you know 2011 or thereabouts. Yeah. That was the first one that really blew up for us. So it's also. You know, if you're going to spend a decent amount of money on a, on a beautiful pair of headphones, mm -hmm. also it's nice if they look great. Yeah. All right, yeah. so what, what have you got to show us? Well, so today, this is the, this is the new beauty. It's the MM500, so uh, it's very much a professional-oriented uh, headphone. It's uh, built to withstand a professional uh, you know, lifestyle, so it's got features like this spring steel headband uh, that uh, is very durable. Uh, the uh, cup construction, this is all machined aluminum. It's got some really nice features like this uh, little edge here around the yoke and uh, this uh, headphone's been uh, tested and uh, developed in concert uh, with Manny at Larrabee Studios so I like the fact actually, called, you're calling it a yoke yeah yeah that's that's generally what this this piece on a headphone is referred to yeah well I mean I'm an aviation department. nut oh okay so I yeah. know what a yoke is right 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 yeah. I have a yoke uh, used to sit on my console for years mm -hmm. and people would say what is that is that a steering wheel I'm like yes for a plane it's called yeah a yoke or you can you know go go way back and when that was something you used to attach attach to a piece of livestock yeah so yeah. you know a whole nother a whole nother beast there a whole nother discussion can I yeah. look at oh sure of course and Eric is standing outside the booth, which is really strange. He's filming through there. Oh yeah, they're, they're gorgeous. Yeah, so they're, uh, uh, they, you actually have that on the other way around there. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's just a hair under 500 grams. Uh, so it's quite a bit oh, lighter okay, yeah. than some of our past models, like the popular LCDX. This shaves uh, quite a bit of weight off of that. And Beautiful. we did that by going to a single-sided magnet uh, system, which lets us put less heavy magnets in the headphone, but still retain a uh, really high sound quality that uh, we first kind of uh, pioneered that with our flagship LCD5 that came out last year. Beautiful. How much are these? Uh, so that's $16.99 in the U.S. And it's uh, on sale today for the first time, and uh, you know, huh? first shipments are expected in about six to eight weeks. Beautiful, beautiful. And they're all completely made here, aren't they? Yeah, they're all made right here in Orange County. We build, uh, last year we built over 140,000 headphone drivers here in uh, Orange wow. County, California. Yeah, it's actually the most headphone or speaker drivers of any company in the U.S. And uh, all of these high-end headphones uh, are also fully assembled here in Orange County. Ah, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And so we're going to do a, a giveaway of a pair of headphones. Yeah, it's the LCD2 Classic Closeback model. So that's yep. our uh, closeback headphone that goes for about uh, $700. Beautiful. Uh, it's got the signature Odyssey uh, planar magnetic drivers, a closeback design, so it blocks out some of that external noise. It's got a Amazing. really nice cup finish and, uh, you know, our uh, current uh, signature suspension headband. Peter, thank you ever so much. Thank I you really so much. It. It's been great. Thank you. Thanks so much. And thanks for letting me have a break in a booth on the show. You know, let's just talk for a few more minutes, Eric, so I can have a relaxation here, you know. All right, thanks a lot. Awesome. My friend, how are you, man? Good to see you, man. Always good Always to see you. Always appreciate you coming by. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, actually, this is, doesn't this feel about right? Not too many people, just about enough. It feels a little more AES-ish, like a little smaller, yeah. but, a, but a better crowd. Do you have some new stuff you want to tell us about? We do. We have a brand new mic. This is the Mini K67X. Wow. So your readers, viewers, might yeah. well understand and remember that we had the Mini K47, yeah. Mini K87, which you've certainly yeah. helped us introduce. And which are both amazing. And thank you. And uh, so this is the next Mini in the series, and it's the K67X. So you might be wondering, what does the X stand for? The X stands for transformer. Okay. So this, so the Mini K47 and 87, the, the older mics, are transformerless. Yeah. 
So transformerless circuits in general give you very clean, accurate, transient response. And so the sound of those mics is basically the sound of the capsule. So the 47 has the 47 capsule, the 87 has the 87 capsule, as you might expect. And so that's what those mics sound like. Now this one is a different capsule altogether, and it has a, a circuit very much like our Kolaris. Right. So the Kolaris circuit has a transformer in it, and the point of that circuit is to give you some harmonic saturation. Right. So that when you push it, you get some of those harmonics in the sound of the mic. Plus, in the world of digital, when we were in analog, we tran people started removing transformers, you know, right. because they wanted it to be more accurate because the medium, like tape, was adding coloration. Now we've got the opposite thing, where we've got digital and everything's so perfect. Right. So we're trying to now color the sound going in. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so people have actually said that to me, that this mic is perfect for a digital recording chain yeah. because it gives you some of that some of that color, some of that saturation. I mean, the word warm is used a lot. Yeah, I'm we all, really we all sure. hate the word, but it does get used. Yeah, yeah I mean, people say, you know, uh, what's your warmest microphone? And I say, well, the only way I know how to measure warmth is with a thermometer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which doesn't really go over well, yeah, but the point yeah. is, it means yeah. different things to different people. It does, yeah. But what I can tell you about this mic is it gives you some of that saturation and richness. Great. So, what's the retail? So th this retails for 479. Nice. And um, and we're, we're really excited about it because the people who have heard it, it's only been out for a, a couple of weeks, the people who have heard it have loved it. Right. And so there's a word of mouth thing happening with this already, which is really uh, uh, rewarding to me. You know, when you, when you bring something out and then uh, people talk about it. That's right. great. So, uh, so yeah, so that's the new mic and uh, it's... Uh, and we're doing know, a giveaway one of these. We'll, let's do a giveaway. Matt. Right on. I really appreciate it. Thank You're you, wrong. And I need to take one of these home and yeah, use it. Absolutely. And do a video with it. Please do. Yeah. Right on, look for that. Great. Thank you. So I'm here with Anders from Adam. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Warren? I'm really good. And you have something new to tell us about. We do. This is the, the A-Series. This is the new iteration of the AX models that have been around for 10 plus years. Um, we are finally revamping them with all new technology, all new materials, um, and really kind of just making bring them into the future. So it's really exciting for us. Tell us what's new and improved, Anders. Yeah, so a lot has been improved with the new A-Series here. So on the back panel, Yep. We've got an all-new tuning software uh, and platform here, so you basically just go through the steps um, and can tune the room to really basic adjustments here on the back. Um, so you got the desk, you got the presence, treble, as any speaker would really at this point. Yep. Um, but then below that you have uh, some different voicings that you can yep. tune the speaker to your preference or to your room more specifically. So um, we have three different voicings here. We have Pure, UNR, and EXT. Uh, Pure is basically as flat as we can make the monitor, um, so really analytical, really intense mixing. Um, and then UNR is going to be a little bit more exciting for production, you know, kind of a little bit of hype. Like high a little mids, bit more fun. Yeah. High mids bit, and high end? Or? Yeah. yeah, high end a little bit, of, little bit more bass. Oh, uh, okay, so um, a, bit more of, a bit more of curvy. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay. And okay. then EXT is going to be uh, how you connect your computer via this remote control. Okay. Um, you just connect it via this Ethernet port, and it comes with a control software, which has really extensive EQs on it. Mm -hmm. um, you can go in and dive in to correct for really any room issues that you might have, um, and really fine tune the speaker to your space or to your preference. Okay, so when you get them, it comes with a software, basically. Yeah, so you register it, and then it's like, hey, download the software. Okay, and then, and then Ethernet yeah. can enable cable yeah. straight to your yep. computer. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, and then also, the biggest thing that we have to announce about these um, is the integration with Sonarworks. So for so long, people have had to put the Sonarworks plugin on the mix bus, yeah. always remember to take it off before they export, all that good stuff. Uh, now with the integration of this EXT and the A-Control software, you are able to shoot your room uh, via Sonarworks, take the tuning from that, and plug it right into this, Stored and it lives, in here. lives on the monitor. Yeah. Lives on the monitor, yeah. which means you don't have to turn it off, so you're not bouncing through. You must have exactly. asked with the EQ yeah. on. And everything you listen to in that room will be tuned Great. as it should, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. What are these extra inputs, outputs there? So it's pretty basic inputs, um, just XLR and RCA with just yeah. a, a toggleable switch here. Um, okay. Volume control. Pretty straightforward. Outside oh, so you can have tuning. both detached and then move between one or yeah. the other? Yeah. Ah, okay, so that's a good idea. Yeah. So if you had 
two different controllers because you had a controller with loads of um, you know cell phones, whatever connected to it. Exactly. Yeah, and you can control all this via the uh, remote the control app. software as well. Yeah. So you just you can be in the, nice. the sweet spot, swap things in and out, and yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. That's really uh, cool. Yeah. It's yeah, I like that because sometimes I was thinking because you have an interface. It, most interfaces, at least on the, the inexpensive side, don't have multiple inputs from different devices. Mm -hmm. But like there are companies that make devices that purely and simply, you know, could go into exactly. the RCA yeah. that have multiple inputs for your cell phones, etc. Yeah, I like that. It's good always idea. good to have, yeah. For Simple sure. but good. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Yeah, this is the new A series. It's five models. So we have the A four Vs, which yep. is gonna be the four inch model of this. Yeah. A seven Vs, which are these guys, replacement to the A seven Xs, which I know you're well aware we of. We know very well. I mean, those were, I mean, market leaders, I think is what yeah. they say. Yeah, they were exactly. They were um, selling monitoring that price point. Yeah. Great. And then we have the A8Hs, yeah. um, which are going to be the 8-inch three-way models. We have the yeah. A44Hs, which is a really cool new form factor for us. It's going to be a horizontal form factor with two four-inch woofers. Uh, so really great for immersive setups. Um, you can put that under a screen and as a great center channel. Yep. And then the A77Hs, which is the upgrade to the A77Xs, yep. uh, but it's a true three-way this time as opposed to a two-and-a-half-way, which it was at first. Fantastic. And then, yeah, rotatable tweeters. All of them are rotatable, so you can orient them to whatever you uh, need in the room. Okay. Which is long overdue. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. the waveguide, which is uh, something that we've implemented in the S-Series and the T-Series, but yep. obviously now we're just now implementing into the A-Series. Yeah. Uh, and what that does is that it spreads the high frequencies more horizontally while limiting it vertically so you don't have comb yeah. filtering off the desk and ceiling and stuff. And then, what I'm really excited about... Yep. Mounting. I was going to ask. I'm looking <laughs> on the back. And yeah. I was going to ask. I'm yeah. like, is there going to be a mounting? Because that, that's the same yes. with immersive. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's going to be a big push for us with yeah. the mounting abilities and the rotatable tweeters. It's going to be able to be put into any space and it work really well. Yeah. Excellent. Great. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering. In the back of my mind, I'm going... I don't see any way to mount this. Yeah, you know, <laughs> frustratingly looking at it. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. No, it's all it's all here, man. We're really hyped about it. Great. Um, yeah, and so these are available now, and uh, the other three models, the A77, A44, and A8Hs, will be available later in the summer. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, Anders. Yeah, thank you, Warren.